Welcome back to Pharmacist on Call. Your host, Dr. Sean Pruitt, Community Pharmacist of the World. We're going to get right back into your calls. So we're going to take this phone call, and then we're going to see what one of the Facebook listeners has to ask here. All right, Shaquille, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. Let me help you. Yes, my name is Shaquille. I'm calling because of my liver anxiety are off, and uh, I don't want to take nothing with no Tylenol in it because I know that it's good for my, my pain medication. What pain medication would be the best for me to take? It would probably be, so if your pain is severe, you can take one of the pain medications. Um, are they talking about putting you on like pain management kind of pain medicine? I'm, all, I'm already on pain management and, get, and they got me on royal tab and I got to go back to my doctor and let him know what my what my liver doctor said and that he don't want me on nothing but that child and all in. All right, so he's going to have to take you off of that. Uh, what he could do is put you on uh, probably an oxycodone without the Tylenol in it. So you could do just straight oxycodone, HCL, and uh, what milligram of hydrocodone are you on, or Lortab? 7.5. 7.5. Uh, they could start you out with maybe, a, uh, I guess, about a... They can start you out with an oxycodone 5 to see how you're doing. It is a stronger uh, medicine, so maybe oxycodone 5, probably, you know, two or three times a day if you need it. Uh, that's going to be a little better. It has zero Tylenol in it. Uh, are you taking anything to improve your liver enzymes? Uh, I'm just I'm just tired of getting treated for them. So I got, I'm going back and forth to Vanderbilt. I got a form to go back on the seventh. Okay. That's when they're gonna start treating. What kind of okay? All right. So in the meantime, uh, stop by the pharmacy and uh, get some beetroot juice. Uh, this is very good for liver conditions, uh, fatty liver, and those high enzymes that'll help to bring them down. Okay. Yeah, so stop by for a, a thing of beetroot juice. I'd say take that twice a day. Uh, and when are they, when are they gonna look at your levels again? Uh, look at my levels, uh, the seventh. September 7th? Uh-huh. Okay, That's, that should be enough time, you know, about a week or so. In fact, I probably, okay. I'd probably take more than that. I'd probably do two cupfuls twice a day uh, so two that we can... Two cupfuls twice a day. Uh-huh, now, the other thing uh -huh. is uh, we'll need to avoid alcohol. And, oh, yeah, I don't think it away. Okay, and then we're also going to need to avoid sugar because sugar is a, cul uh -oh. a culprit, too. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Look, yeah, so that's, that's, that's the one that uh, gets us in trouble. Uh, so, yeah, we need to okay. back off the sugar and watch those enzyme levels come down. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but get you some beet juice. Much, sir. Yes, sir. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. All righty. Okay, so we had a Facebook viewer, Kelly, who asked uh, which was best to keep in a baby's room, a cool mist humidifier or the, uh, the warm humidifier. And I'll just say that just from experience with my children, we use the cool mist to kind of moisturize the air. And then I think we use the warm one to bring down uh, uh, all of that congestion. Uh, so Kelly, uh, you can either call in or uh, go a little bit more in depth on your, uh, on your question there and see what you're trying to accomplish with it, uh, but the cool mist and uh, the humidifiers, what they do is they moisturize the air, especially if the, uh, the baby's nasal passages get dry, uh, if they have an allergy and conge mainly congestion. Uh, but I remember using the cool mist for the most part. And uh, man, that sound just put me out itself. Okay, but look, we're going to get into your other calls here. Thelma, welcome to Farm System Call. Let me help you. Hello. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Welcome to Pharmacist Don't Call. I can help you. Let me get you to turn your TV down, too, please. Okay. Hello, Dr. Pruitt. How are you? Pretty good. How you doing? Well, I'm well, thank you. Um, God bless you, dear. I wanted to remind you that once again, um, you forgot about your upper niece. I know you've got a bunch of them. But you've got a niece with her September birthday, remember? Who was that? Who was born on 9-11? Oh, okay. Well, yes, I did. Uh, Casey <laughs> Stevens. Uh, yes, my, my other niece uh, down there at MTSU in Murfreesboro. So, uh, yeah, happy birthday from Uncle Sean. Yeah, family's too big, y'all. It's just it's way too big. Yeah, but thank you for reminding me. 
Well, she told me to turn my TV. Off. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we're getting but feedback they, there. Yeah. Let me cut things off. But anyway, um, I want to thank you for um, the late reviews, which is uh, doing great. Uh, ma'am, uh, we need to get you, you turned your TV up. We need you to turn it down. Well, yeah, I know, but I can't hear it well when I turn it down. Okay, <laughs> I, I'll turn it down for right now. Okay. Get off. <laughs> All right. It goes up. Mm. Okay, did you have a question? Well, uh, no. Just, just reminded me that I forgot her birthday? Okay. Uh, yes, and, and uh, I mean, I mean, but anyway, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the show. And God bless you, Dr. Pruitt. And um, is um, are there anything going on that I need to know? Uh, no, just continue watching the show. <laughs> All right, dear. Well, I, I'm doing that right now. Okay. You have a good one. Yes, ma'am. You too. I, I met about um, the holiday. Well, uh, no, I no, I haven't heard anything yet. No. So okay. We'll, we'll, well, see who's cooking. God bless you, dear. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. All bye right. bye. All right, bye bye. In case you have not guessed, that is my mother. All right, so let's see. Looks like we've got another Facebook question here uh, from Angelique Arsenal. Uh, she wanted to know if the beetroot juice was for fatty liver. Yes, ma'am, you heard correctly. Uh, beetroot juice is for fatty liver. I guess I'll pull it on up here and start talking about it. Okay, so. Uh, there is a compound in beetroot juice called betaine, B-E-T-A-I-N-E, -E, and it's in the betalin family. And what betaines do is they purify the liver by getting it to purge itself of all that bad stuff, but it also helps the liver to begin to heal itself. So that's why I recommended it for the gentleman who called before. Uh, so in addition to taking this to help your liver, uh, remember, uh, reduce your alcohol intake, uh, and then also your sugar intake, because uh, sugar is a culprit too. All right, so those two things are going to contribute to pushing up your liver enzymes. All right. Okay, and it looks like we've got Tina. Welcome to Pharmacist on Call. Let me help you. Yes, I had a question about uh, the beetroot juice. If you're on a blood thinner, can you still use that? I'm having a lot of trouble with the doctors getting my blood pressure under control along with my diabetes. And now I'm on insulin like four times a day. Um, I'm just having a lot of problems with that. So I just wanted to know, could you take that with beetroot juice? I think that there may be an issue with it. How have your INR has been going? What, what blood thinner are you on? Eloquist. Eloquist. Uh, Milligrams. I think you're okay with Eliquis. It's Coumadin that's, a, uh, that's an issue. So if it's Warfarin, yeah, you may have a problem with this. Uh, but we got to get your sugar down and your blood pressure down. Sugar and the blood pressure. Yes, ma'am. So. Uh, effort, and it's, it's just not working. Okay. So I, I'm going to have to have something to help get this under control. How much water are you drinking? Pardon me? How much water are you drinking today? I drink quite a bit of water because I have a stomach issue as well, so I would say, uh, About two, two, three cups? No, no, about six. Okay. Six a day at least. Yeah, that's still not enough, and we're going to need to get you on alkaline water, so you'll need to stop by the pharmacy to get you some congen water. Uh, that's going to give your pancreas what it needs to get the alkalinity in there to get it to start functioning properly. Now... Are you cheating on your diet? No, I'm doing pretty good, I think. Okay. I, I have quite improved. I've had diabetes quite a while, but um, for the last year or so, it's just not being able to be stabilized and had to go to insulin. And okay. It's a whole different ball game. Are you able to walk and move around a little bit? Yes, but I have a lot of trouble with my feet. And oh, with the neuropathy? Yes, it's terrible. Okay, is that first thing in the morning or just as the day goes on? The day progress. Well, it can be any time, but if I'm up trying to do anything or driving or walking something, I have to pull over to the side of the road. Things are getting really out of control. And if they can't get it under control, it seems like I need to have some, something else on the side to kind of help me out. But okay. I've only been on the uh, blood thinner for 
turned February. February when they had to go to the hospital. Okay. I had eight feet. Eight feet. Okay. So yeah, you can do beetroot juice uh, with the Eliquis. Now, for that neuropathy. Mm-hmm. You need to get some hemp oil, and that will stop that neuropathic pain. And the reason I want you to do that is because I want you to get up every morning on an empty stomach before you take your medicine and walk for about 15 to 20 minutes and burn up that extra sugar from the night before, and your sugar levels are going to start going down every morning, okay? And hopefully with I'm that... This problem. I can't walk well. Yeah, so we're going to give you something that's going to help you out, take away some of that pain and that discomfort so yes. that you can move like, around a little bit better, okay? Yes, but that, that chronic pain is horrible. Yeah, yeah, but that's but what's I, pushing your blood pressure up, too. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on, so pain is just, just as bad as everything else that's keeping me from being as functional as I should or could be. Okay. Or was. All right, so it sounds like the stress may be contributing to your blood sugar I going up, too. Yeah, it's hard when you keep going to doctors and they don't seem to be able to help you, so. Okay. I'm really we, concerned, and I'm not new to diabetes, but I'm new to insulin, and it's, 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 it's really harsh. Okay, well, you stop by the pharmacy, and we'll see what we can do for you, okay? And I've tried the TH. What is it? The, uh, this? I've had that uh, um, with, I, I wasn't able to take it because of the, not the hemp, the other, what's the other? The THC in it? Uh huh. You, I think you had taken me, giving me one without the THC because I had some kind of problem. Like my face started just drawing and shaking. So, um, I don't know. That's been a couple of years ago. Okay. Well, that wasn't our brand, was it? Well, I got it there. Um, At my pharmacy? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Try try this one. This is about a year and a half old, so you probably had somebody else's hemp. But stop by and try this. Okay. All right, and then uh, we're going to get you some beetroot juice, too, uh, to add yeah. with your insulin uh, and your other medication so we can get that, that sugar roll down. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. So, yeah, just stop by and see us. All right. All right, thank bye -bye. you. All right, bye-bye. All right, everyone, we're up on our next break. Stay right there. We'll be right back.